what's going on YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists. Welcome to this week's episode of p and It's a very short one I'm afraid because I've only got one question. Sad face. Now, I'll tell you, uh, so that you know for future reference, uh, if you're new to the channel, this is the question and answer series, so it's my Q&A. It's a weekly, it's done weekly. I record them on the weekends and they get uploaded ready for Monday, Monday morning. So they go out every Monday without fail and they have done ever since it started, three plus years ago, however long it is. I've done quite a few episodes now, you can work it out. Um, anyway, it's a busy, quiet, however you want to put it, time of year. So it's busy in some respects and quiet on others. So it always gets quieter on the, um, the Q&A side at this time of year anyway, but that's fine. Um, I'm just trying to pad this out a bit, as you can tell. <laughs> so, you can do this one of uh, four ways. You can put your comment or question down below in that comment section. Please do so. Um, or you can email me directly at miniwarzone at gmail.com. You get an anonymous response, but that doesn't happen that often. You can make a video yourself, um, you know, like on a series or a one-off, whatever, asking a question or raising a topic. I haven't seen any of those uh, this week. But, uh, so, Or you can ask me in person if we meet. There you go, that's the four ways. I think I've covered them all now. Uh, but obviously, putting your comments or questions down below is the most common way. Um, I do only have the one uh, the one comment. I haven't printed it out, it's not worth printing out, wasting a sheet of paper just for one comment. But anyway, we'll come to that, this comment. Uh, it comes from Beer 40 k so we will get to that. Um, but yes, um, I, I appreciate it. it's... Um, you know, people have got other stuff on and whatever else, but uh, please keep those questions coming because um, without it, um, can't do this. <laughs> I've not missed one yet it's, it's the time I started doing this, and I don't really want to. But anyway, the one question I have so from Midic Before 40k, uh, it says, Great episode, Pete. What would you do if Warhammer 40k 9th edition was released at the end of next year? I was giving this a lot of thought. And um, I've come to the conclusion I probably wouldn't do anything. I'd still just keep playing eighth um, because that's what I've invested some money into. So I wouldn't rush out and buy new rule sets. Um, you know, the people I'd play with wouldn't be that fussed either. I don't believe they'd be happy to mill along with eighth for a while. Um, obviously, there's some that are more serious, um, but you know, just for the few of us. We'll just stick with 8th. That's what I would do. I'd stick with 8th edition. Um, because I've spent so much money on it. Um, but the models are fantastic. And uh, I'm loving it. As you can see now, I'm, I'm doing this uh, plasma thermal reactor, whatever it's called. Uh, thermic plasma regulators. So from, from Necromunda, really. But I can use them in 40k as well. So that's going to be good. Um, but that's it. That, that is my question. <laughs> but whilst we're here... Um, and I'll do a proper video on this um, because I'm not expecting to get that many views. Well, the funny thing was I had quite a few views on the, my last PNQ, but no, well, only one question, which is odd. Maybe I know what it's like that you think oh, I'll get back to that. I'll do that. And, uh, but trust me, you don't know everything about me yet. <laughs> Always keep some mysteries. Um, but anyway, enough of that drivel. Uh, my wife's released her first novel. It's available uh, for purchase on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the video description below. And I, will, I will put that in, in the description below on every video now. So, uh, And I'll do a proper video on it in the future. So yeah, she's released her first novel, A Night of Phalor. And like I say, I'll, I'll, I'll properly... Um, go for it in another video because it's quite exciting stuff and it's a it's a supernatural fantasy fiction it really is good good stuff could make an awesome game based on it I thought but that's another story anyway uh, yeah so I, I've, I've started work on this diorama um, for it you see so uh, yeah it's, it's it's good anyway that's it I told you it'd be a short one no questions no content uh, 
But I did have the one question. But that is what I would do, Nick, if they released ninth edition and you know next year or whatever. I would I would um, carry on playing eighth. <laughs> so I'm enjoying eighth. I like eighth. I haven't played that many games of it, but I think it's a really fantastic rule set. I love it. <clears throat> I prefer it to seventh. So, meh. I do. Unless they made the ninth even more streamlined, but I can't see that. Can you? But yeah. Anyway. Thanks for watching guys, keep those questions coming, put those questions down, email me them, whatever, whatever's easiest for you, put them in a video, uh, it's, I like to watch the video questions, um, and you can obviously, uh, I, I stopped doing my Q&S's though because um, people stopped incorporating them into their videos as well, so I thought well, you know, if it picks up again I'll start it up again, but uh, until then, yeah. But I'll keep doing these pinkies for as long as I can. I'll do it to the bitter, bitter end. And it's bitter out here today. It's bitterly, bitterly cold. So uh, I, I gave it an extra day just to see if any more questions might come in. But I didn't. <laughs> anyway, I think I've padded this one out um, as much as I can. Remember, all brushes lead to war. Bye for now, guys. Bye.